Hey guys, it's Dragon Soul. Um, today, um, in celebration of the twelfth book of the Wimpy Kid, the Lana Hall, I decided that I would rank my um, Wimpy Kid books from favorite to least favorite. So, um, and the first one here is the one I left at the most was the Lana Hall, the movie adaptation of it um, that came out this year. I thought it was okay, but the book I thought was way funnier. Get that out of there. Um, so yeah, that one's my favorite one. Then the second one was last year's Double Down. This one made me laugh so hard. Probably my my favorite part from Double Down is the, um, um Roderick's lies that he keeps telling Greg, which end up getting him in trouble. And also my favorite part in the long haul is the seagull invasion, which happens in the car when um um Greg when Greg lets out all the Cheetos. <laughs> And the Z goes to go right in the car and have at it. All right. Third one is Cabin Fever. Cabin Fever, um, I like because it's <laughs> this one. I feel like is the most stressful of the series in Greg's situations, um, and also the funny situations that happen inside the house where they're snowed in. And my favorite part from Cabin Fever is um with Rowley and Greg arguing about um volleyball and what letter it starts with and when it was invented and stuff. So I thought that was funny. Okay, my fourth favorite is Hard Luck. This one um um this one was a fun one. I also I liked how um without Rowley at his side cuz Rowley had his girlfriend, quote unquote, um Abigail so Greg had to find um, um, ways to keep himself occupied without Rowley being around. So I thought that was pretty funny. And my favorite part from Hard Luck is um, um, when he becomes a yearbook photographer. Because that relates to me when I was in high school. I was the year one of the yearbook photographers for the yearbook for um, 10th through 12th grade. So that was a really cool similarity. My... My fifth favorite is the Ugly Truth. This was this is the um only paperback version that I have. I got it from a book order, probably back in let me see, it was in probably in middle school. So middle school or junior high, Mid middle school. So that was probably when I was in seventh grade. But this one I like because um it's like about growing up and. Um, kind of relates also to me because once you're out of school and you have to find a job and all that, it's stressful at times. So um, the pressure is really building up on Greg in this one. So that's um, kind of what happens in there. And my favorite part from The Ugly Truth is... Um, um, let me think what it was. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was the part where... Um, Greg um has his little toilet paper stall um and he stashes all of his toilet paper in this little um bathroom stall and he has his little radio playing and he's reading comic books in there while he's using the bathroom so I think that's really funny. Six favorite is Dog Days. This one um was um one of my favorites before I got Cabin Fever. Um probably because it dealt um with Greg, mostly with Greg and Rowley, this is probably the only book in the um, series so far that focuses mostly on Greg and Rowley's um, friendship and relationship, and um, the trouble they get into while they're um, at the um, carnival, the place they stay at. And my favorite part from Dog Days is when um, when um, Greg's dad tells the story about his dog, and then. Um, and how he used to love his dog, and then um, um, his grandpa tells him how he really died, and that makes the dad all triggered, so <laughs> I thought that was kind of a little funny. Okay, my next step one is the third wheel. This one was, um, this one was okay. It wasn't one of the best ones, like the other ones over here, but the third wheel was probably one of the, um, um, not so funny ones I've read so far, but um, my favorite part from the third wheel is toward the end of the book when um, 
um, Greg dances with Abigail, and they're in the middle of the um, gym floor. And then um, Greg notices um, a pimple on Abigail's. Uh, well, he thinks it's um, a, a little chicken pox. And Greg totally freaks out, which makes Abigail cry like a baby. Um, but it turns out it was just a pimple, and things don't go well from there. <laughs> so, yeah. Next up, um, Roderick rules. And I'm going to put in. Um, I'm just going to do the whole. Um, Three ones right here since they go since these were the first three. Roderick rules. Um, I like the um movie version of this one better actually because um it delves deeper into the sibling and brother relationship because I have a brother and we hardly ever um we hardly ever fight with each other. The only times we ever do is when we're trying to choose a movie and we can't agree on one. But um, I like the um the way the brothers have to work together and. They have total different sides of um, reality sometimes, but um, but yeah. So that one was a good one. Um, next one is the first Wimpy Kid book, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Um, this one um was pretty good, but um, I don't really have much to say about this one. But probably my favorite part is um, the cheese touch. The way how the cheese touch originated and how it got started and passed it down from kid to kid. So I thought that was really funny. Um, the um, next one up is The Last Straw. This one was um, probably one of the um, lesser funnier ones, the ones that I've read. Um, yeah, because these... Um, let me just quote this for a fun fact here. These first three here... Actually, I got from a book order back in third or fourth grade, so these were all in one big box. So, so that yeah, so these were the first ones I got, all three in a pack. But my favorite part from um, the last straw is the um, part um, where um, I w <laughs> sorry when um, Greg goes um, figure skating and tries to impress Holly. And um, Holly actually thinks he's friggly because of the um, goggles he's wearing. And it totally messes Greg up and he gets super mad. Um, and, and then in one of the um, pictures, Raleigh's like, can I go get a beer? And Greg's like, no. <laughs> he's just totally, totally angry. And then my least favorite, um, a parent, I'm, um, don't hate me on this, but... Um, this is my opinion. The least favorite one that I am is old school. Now, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love I love all of these Wimpy Kid books. I laugh every single time I read a new one. But the, but old school was probably the one that had the less humor in it for me. Um, there was I mean there were some parts that I laughed at, but um, the but old school just didn't um make me laugh as much as the other books, especially with the first four. Um, but, um, yeah, so that's my least favorite. Oh, and my um, favorite part from old school is, um, um, is when, um, um, Greg's grandpa, um, um, makes him go into his car and they, um, have to go, um, to a store to, um, grab supplies. And then, um, grandpa, Greg realizes, um, grandpa's driver's license got taken away. And then they almost um, get hit in Grandpa's car. They're going in the wrong direction with the cars heading toward them. And then they go into a, like a total U-turn. Their eyes are bugged out, <laughs> like near-death experiences, like heavy breathing, like oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> that was a pretty funny part. But um, yeah, so that's my wimpy kid collection from favorite to least favorite, and um, I'll going to get the getaway um in um probably in a um probably in a month or so because um my birthday is coming up so um hopefully i get it for my birthday and when i do um read it after i read it i'll do a, a review video on that so um yeah so also put down in the description in the comment section what are your favorite Wim wimpy kid books favorite to least favorite and what are your favorite parts from the wimpy kid book series I'd like to um, see what you guys come up with for those. So, um, 
Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video, and be sure to subscribe for more reviews, reactions, and other neat surprises, and I'll upload more videos for you guys in the near future. Okay, bye.